What is going on guys and in today's video I want to quickly talk about Titanfall 2 my quick impressions on it now I'm gonna do an actual proper article and video on Titanfall vs Call of Duty Infinite Warfare um, I think it'll be very interesting to compare them purely because Titanfall is the real COD developers, the real Infinity Ward. Um, the majority of them left after Modern Warfare 2 to go to Respawn to make Titanfall. And what this video is going to be about is... I just I just feel sorry for uh, for Respawn. I feel sorry for, for uh, Titanfall as a franchise because I feel like it's just been shat on by Call of Duty. I think, I think it's... The sales and, and the popularity and, and everything about it has just been ruined by Call of Duty because it's a real shame because Titanfall 2 is amazing, brilliant game, I love I love it, I, I, I'm having so much fun, I think it's the best shooter of the year, without a doubt, in my opinion I think it's the best shooter of the year, and it's almost like um, that middle ground between Battlefield and Call of Duty. So it feels like Call of Duty. It plays like Call of Duty. So imagine the futuristic Call of Duty with the boost jumping. It's like that, but it doesn't actually negatively affect the gameplay. It actually improves the gameplay because you're not just boost jumping around on this like normal sort of map. It's this huge battlefield with multiple stories, verticality, and... It just, it's just carnage. You're wall running across different buildings. Like, the map design's so clever. It's not just gimmicky. Like, on Black Ops 3 and uh, Infinite Warfare, you're just... It's kind of just a route. Like, just wall running's just like a pathway. It's like a lane. Whereas here, you can just wall run across so many different things. You can jump onto roofs from it. Get vantage points from it. It's so clever how they do it. It's so fluid as well. So good. And then you have the Titans. And they're just these huge mechs. It's basically vehicles. And you can just completely wreck everyone. But then if someone else gets in the Titan against you. You're having this massive battle with Titans. And on top of that. Players. you know, like uh, I think they're called pilots and normal people. They can just jump on your Titan and counter it. If, if they catch you off uh, guard. So. It just it just creates this massive carnage and this massive battlefield. And then on top of that, they have um, this is from the first one because I have played the first one. But they have like AI thrown in the map, and you get points for killing the AI. Um, so there is a purpose to it. So there's it's like this huge battlefield, huge map with titans and AI people, so that there's never there's never a quiet moment. There's always something going on. It's not like you're just aimlessly running around this big map. And it's just, it feels like it's like Call of Duty's, it's, it's not Call of Duty, but the, the the people that made Call of Duty, let's just say, it's like almost like it would have been Call of Duty's answer to having vehicles and a bigger battlefield. It's what the futuristic CODs should have been. Honestly, it, it has taken that COD formula, because it's the, the gameplay just still feels like COD. It's taken that formula and just, just completely innovated, just completely revolutionised how it plays and it really does it feels like call of duty but with just so much more i don't know like so much more to it now so it's so much more fleshed out whereas you look at infinite warfare and it's literally just the same 6v6 even black ops 3 to an extent it's just the 6v6 small map you run around you shoot people and with, with boost jumping added to it and it, it just we've been there done that it's the same thing and this is just it, it's not this isn't just infantry based it's just it's vehicles infantry based but it's a huge battlefield there's ai there's verticality there's so much creative design in the maps and how you wall run it's so much more depth and what i'm going to get at is i feel so sorry for the people that have made titanfall because i think it's not doing as well as it should be purely because of two things and one is because call of duty these guys made call of duty what it is today and it got big because the appeal of, of the fame itself of call of duty like modern warfare was was appealing to a lot of people but it 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 just changed the game and there was nothing like it at the time and it blew call of duty up and 
it's very hard to do that now. Like, there isn't many games that can just blow up like that anymore. Um, and I think multiplayer games as well. Um, there, it, there was a niche for multiplayer shooters on console at that time, whereas now it's just, everyone's just trying to do that. And they they broke into um, they they made Call of Duty so big that it's now got to the point where it doesn't matter what kind of um, who's making the game or what kind of quality the the game's going to be Call of Duty is still going to sell and is everyone knows what Call of Duty is you know everyone knows whereas Titanfall the majority of people have not heard of it there's some people have heard of it because they follow um, I don't know they might follow uh, the critics and they see that it's been getting good ratings and others might know that for me personally this is why I, I was in, interested in the first time for is that I followed the developers and you know, I, I follow what they did basically and I knew that they left after Modern Warfare 2 to, to make Respawn Entertainment so I, I had these guys that made COD 4 which is probably the best shooter ever made in my opinion um, and in Modern Warfare 2 these guys, I, reg- I regard these guys highly. Um, Vince and Pella, Jason West. I think it's only Vince and Pella that actually runs Respawn, but uh, a lot of the Infinity Ward, ex Infinity Ward guys are at um, Respawn. So I, I thought the next game they're going to make is going to be amazing. But Titanfall One was great, but it just it didn't have the content. It really it really got repetitive. Whereas now, okay, yeah, Titanfall 2 is still not perfect. I still think there needs to be more maps. Even though they're going to be added as free DLC. At the moment, there needs to be more maps because it does get repetitive playing on the same maps. But there's a lot more... There's more Titans. I feel like there's a lot more depth to the Titans. And um, it, it's a better game. But it does still need a bit more content. It doesn't have the depth of customization that Infinite Warfare would have, for example, either. So that, that that's lacking. But overall... It's just so much better than Call of Duty. And the, yeah, back to my point. Is the first point is that Call of Duty is so big now that it doesn't matter what they bring out. They're always going to get sales. Whereas no one's heard of Titanfall. Like the average gamer has not heard of Titanfall. And secondly, it's because it come out at the wrong time. And it really, it really does suck. Because when Titanfall 1 was announced... That's when the futuristic cards started to flood in. That's when the wall running, the boost jumping started to come in. Which was blatantly all ripped off from Titanfall. And I remember when I saw the Titanfall reveal, it was so different. Like, oh, this boost jumping, this wall running. It was like, whoa, this this is just taking sh- uh, first person shooters to a whole other level. And they did it right. They did it in a, such an original, creative way. And then Treyarch and, and Sledgehammer and now in, uh, Infinity Ward, the current Infinity Ward. They've all basically just ripped off Titanfall. Basically just taken what they did and, and applied it into Call of Duty. But it's just, it's more gimmicky. Like, the movement system's gimmicky. And the big, big problem, right? This is the big problem, is that that because of the movement system and the way it's been implemented into Call of Duty, it's very gimmicky, and it actually shallow... It it waters down the gameplay. It's very shallow. Like, but for example, the wall running is just like a lane, and it's not actually... It's not really a movement mechanic, if you know what I mean. It's just it's just a pathway to, on a map basically, and then the the boost jumping like there isn't really that much benefit really like like on Titanfall you boost jump to different parts of the map and and to get um to get a uh, height on your opponent uh, verticality, whereas in COD it's just like all you're doing is just jumping over onto maybe a smaller ledge or you know you're just jumping over your opponent and all it does is counteract camping which is good but it just makes the gameplay shallow because the whole design of the game is still the same and the maps and the 6v6 combat and it's all just very close quarters based so the the movement system doesn't really do anything and all other than basically make the maps feel smaller and make the experience faster paced to the point where it's overwhelming as well and and just as i said very shallow but on titanfall it's done so in such an original way that it's this huge battlefield and the movement system makes that huge battlefield condensed into a flowing experience where there's constant action and it's just such a great idea and the movement system is great but the problem and this is just so disheartening for for titanfall is that 
the movement system people see the stigma around a movement system now people just think of of a boost jumping movement system as call of duty and and it negatively affected call of duty because it was done in such a generic way and now people will look at Titanfall, they'll see the boost jump in and they'll see the futuristic era and they'll think oh, i'm not interested in that i've seen it all before because we've had so many call of duty games so many futuristic call of duty games with the boost jump in and people are like Do you know i don't like it they just think of advanced warfare or, or infinite warfare when you think of boost jump in the futuristic era but if titanfall come out maybe four years ago or say Titanfall say the call it the futuristic Call of Duties never happened and we were still it was still just all modern or past era Call of Duties and Titanfall hit the scene. I guarantee you it would be revolutionary. Like I guarantee you so many people would buy it. So many people go, Wow, this is amazing, this is groundbreaking but it's just come out at the wrong time. One other thing as well is I think it doesn't help that the um, the art design is is quite generic and bland, and the game doesn't actually look that fun. Like the box art and and just everything about it, and the theme, it doesn't really look that interesting. But it's so much fun when you actually play it. It's so much more fun than you think it's going to be, and I think that is partly due to the poor art design and bland generic sort of design, in my personal opinion. I will be going over for Titanfall in more detail in a review and I will be comparing Infinite Warfare to Titanfall 2 um, because why not? you got the old Infinity Ward which is Respawn Entertainment now and then you got the new Infinity Ward. You might as well put them toe to toe. Um, but yeah, this is, this is just a quick hands-on impression and how I feel sorry for Titanfall because it come out at the wrong time basically. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe for more opinion videos and reviews. And I will see you on my next video.